I was thinking about and wanted to share with you, and hopefully this works, but I wanted to share with you, um, you know, I have a lot of people that come into my store and my book, the book that I wrote, Barefoot at Heart, it, it sits up at the counter, at the front counter, and people often ask me, what is your book about? And, um, you know, I, I want to explain it and I want to find the right words, but I don't want to get into a huge long story. So usually what I tell them, and this is, this is really true and this is how, what it was about. My book is about that as a little girl, I was such a charming, delightful, little, bubbly, free spirit. I mean, just happy, a happy little girl. Um, and most of my childhood, I mean, until I was got into school, um, it was beautiful. And once I started into school and started getting inundated with life and all the things that happen and took my journey through life, and this, this is the way it is with all of us. I, I lost contact with that little girl and uh, that, that happy, joyful spirit, and I began to feel, I just began to worry about everything and worry about life, and, 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 and that joy was getting covered up and missing, and um, I'd lost that little girl. And I didn't realize that. I didn't know that exactly. I didn't know why I felt like I needed to find answers and I wanted to go on this spiritual search. And, and I eventually found out that what I was looking for was that little girl. I wanted that little girl to come back to me. and. Once I figured that out, I started to see her again. Just the recognition of who she was and the beauty of, of being free and the beauty of her fearlessness and the beauty of her joy. And once I just, I recognized what it was I was actually looking for. And it was that little girl's spirit, that little girl's soul and that little girl's heart she began to come alive again and I found her and she came back and so my book is about that journey of really it's self-discovery because I think that original self of us is the true identity we are it's the it's the God-given identity it's it's the blueprint and each person has a beautiful child likeness that is pure and pristine and free and happy and and we can refine that we can claim reclaim re rediscover that beautiful spirit again and um, I wanted to share my journey so that maybe others would say oh yeah I recognize that that's what I've lost it isn't that I'm I need to oh, I don't know, go, go on some great spiritual quest for enlightenment. It's really comes down to something so sweet and so beautiful as the return to our own heart, our own soul, that childlike, uninhibited, giggly, happy joy, fearless joy. It's a fearlessness. At least that's what I was when I was a little girl. It was fearless and daring and bold and anyway she came back to me and I I just wanted to share that and and it's it's a journey of a lifetime really because I keep I keep finding more about her and reclaiming and, and seeing and and enjoying her her presence as who I am, as my identity, as my life. And the more I do that, the more amazing it is because that heart and soul of us 
it's connected to something divine it's it's connected to the holy the holy light of 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 presence and life and and it it comes from eternity it comes from the very essence of whatever life is the life force is coming from and and it also it it allows us to be very strong individuals and my my understanding of who i am and what has happened in this transformative joy of reclaiming myself the beauty of it has been that 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 we actually find ourselves being stronger and 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 recognizing the individuality is so important so important if if we if we lose our sense of individual and our sense of who we are as a as the heart and soul of us as the unique the unique expression of something divine then we become part of that that collective mentality that that can't think for itself and i notice that this childlikeness this beautiful essence that we are the true self that we are it has a very strong mm, flavor of wholeness a wholeness about it a, 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 it embraces everything and everyone nothing's left out and it is a state of all-encompassing recognition of ourself which includes everybody and everyone we love and all the things we love we actually become more we become more loving of our world and of everything around us and you know when i think about that when you're a little kid it's like yeah you do you you love everything so tenderly so sweetly you your 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 toys your stuffed animals your parents your the the the, the wet grass the 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 sky the sand the beach the waves the seaweed it's like everything becomes a love affair when you're a child and when that love starts to when we start to lose that sense of love and we start to feel restricted and held back and 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 uh the, that uninhibitedness uh, we lose it as we get older and we grow into being adults and we start to uh we get so um um oh you know we've always got to set, sort of protect ourselves from from looking foolish or, or all these kinds of things that hold us from being this joyful presence of love and so yes it's a more loving state of being even though it is a very strong sense of individuality and we appreciate the individualness of each other and and that individualness is you know you, you you hear that story about how all of life is like these beautiful fractals these beautiful uh rays uh individual rays of the presence of god and and in many ways that's what it feels like it's like you look around and everyone and everything is the radiant gleaming glittering beauty of this eternal presence that that is being the life we are anyway that was my little mm, synopsis of trying to share my book with 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 you today and um i'm just happy to be here and happy to share this light and this love with my world and um and when amy shows up next week we'll do a recording together and that'll be fun too but this was fun just trying to share my heart with you and uh tell you about my book and 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 to me the importance the absolute importance of coming back to finding this 
childlike joy that is real, absolutely real, and sits at the right hand of God. And um, it's yours. You've got that child. It's always there. And you, you can't lose that. And so we give it a chance. We start to recognize it. And she comes back. Anyway, thanks. Have a lovely day. Bye.